So let's have a look at this. So imagine if you will, this is uh, a load of water and that is a floaty thing floating in the water and it's kind of bobbing around a bit and stuff um, and actually fell out of the tank through the invisible non-collidable non-existent tank walls. So I'm going to now um, make this thing. Uh, first we'll make some water so uh, I'll put that there. Cool and then so that it's kind of flat and then I use uh, in scene uh, don't want that. If you click on that and just press done, then it will be an empty text, but you'll still be able to see it. So I'll just move this like that. Now I'm going to set the alignment to left top, and now uh, we can set it to turn off auto fit and not have any rounding. So now we can look at it from above. And we'll just put it roughly in the right areas. Drag out the sides. Oh. Whoa. That's interesting. And turn the opacity down, give it some bluish tint. So now we want, uh, let's make a floaty thing. So I'm going to use my usual trick of making that flat like a extrusion thing um, change the stamp mode give it some blend and then I'll just like oh yeah and just put on all the settings boom and then triangle and then shave some off but that looks pretty rad so that'll do uh, cool so I'll just leave it there and I'll turn that off because we won't need it. Now I'll go on there and I will add a chip. That and I'll group them up. Okay, so uh, let's open that and use triangle to snap it to the grid. So uh, the basic idea is we'll have a trigger zone in here. Um, and when it detects the logic in here, it will try to move up as if it was buoyant. Um, and that's which means when it goes out of that trigger zone, it won't try to move up, so it will start falling down again and it will kind of bob on the surface. So um, we're going to do that. You can do that a couple of ways. Uh, in this case, I'm going to do it with a tag. And with this tag, we are going to choose kind of where the buoyancy point is. So maybe it's really heavy and it's up there, or maybe it's really light and it'll be around the middle. I think I'll just put it around the middle, just to be safe. Um, and now we'll make the trigger zone. Oh, we'll, we'll call this uh, float. Cool. And then we'll make a trigger zone. So I'll just put it in a chip, because you never know. One day you might not put it in a chip and all hell will break loose. So I'll turn on the grid again and move this around. Ah, there we go. And I'll put that dot kind of in the corner and expand these out like that. I'll make it go up here. Um, now we actually want to affect this less when we're nearer the top because it gives a, a nicer effect. So I'm going to make it a bit short from the actual surface and then I'm going to hold L1 and R use R2 to give it some fade out. So fade, fade out, fall off. Give it some fall off. Cool. So and that's going to detect tags and I'll use up and down to go through the tags in the scene and use the name float. I don't need to trip the uh, grid anymore. So now it's just fully powered. If we could just give a make a readout for it, like that, and plug that in, 
you can see what it's giving us. It's giving us a 1 because we're in the zone. If we go more into that fall off, it will give us less and less until it's 0 and we're out of the water entirely. So now uh, we want to make it do some stuff. So first we need to make it movable so it'll just fall naturally. So we need a mover. Oh, we need the grid on again. Uh, we, we have to make this actually make the microchip affect the, the group or you can make specific gadgets affect the group but this is kind of a shortcut and then if we select the mover or we open its, its uh, tweak menu then it shows you the gizmo and so that's the same for a lot of things that are in the scene um, cameras and all sorts of stuff so now I can change this arrow and this is the arrow, that's the direction it's going to try and move the object in. Um, and I'll turn this up and turn this down and turn this down. You can fiddle with all this, let's just see how that works. Oh, we'll make this um, weigh very little as well. And give it a little, there we go. And it's sailing off into nowhere because we haven't actually affected it with the tag. So let's use this value and we'll put it into the forward speed. Um, I don't think we need that actually, so let's do that. Uh -huh. So it kind of bobs there. Let's give it some more speed. A little less speed. We'll get there. Basically you just mess with this until it feels right. So there we go. Even lets it kind of roll or whatever just just fine. Cool. And as you adjust these values it'll adjust the kind of character of this buoyancy and how it looks. So just adjust it however you like until it looks good to you. Uh, we'll also have a a gyroscope. Um, and that is already pointing up, so that's cool. We don't need the grid anymore. And we use that to power the gyroscope. So if it started, if we just pin that to the screen, if it started at a funny angle, it will kind of try to get itself upright. And if it started off as a funny angle outside, because it's outside, this won't be uh, powered, so then it will just won't be affected by the uh, buoyancy at all. There you go. Nice. So this is all just like fine tuning. The, re the rest is fine tuning up to your own tastes. So have fun with that. I'd like to thank Prison Night 90, Hyper Dream Surfer, Mobius DT, and all of my other supporters for making this tutorial possible. If you'd like me to keep making these tutorials and helping creators across the internet, you can find out how to support me in the link in the description. Thanks for your consideration, and I'll see you in the next one.